Hi, this is Johnny from Cloud AI Academy. Here, I will show you DevOps skills about cloud AI technologies, personal projects, and other essential skills to become a DevOps engineer. Today, the to topic is to quickly set up uh, Ugo SSG static uh, websites on GitLab pages in just 10 minutes. Let's start. First, log in to your GitLab uh, web page. To set up your personal website, you need to make sure that uh, what's your username? Let's see, what's my username? In user setting account, you will see that my username is Cloud AI. Academy. Okay. Let's navigate to our personal. Please pay attention. Not any project in your group. In your personal. Personal zone. This is very important. Or you cannot create your personal blog. New project. Create a blank project. The second thing we need to be very careful is the name of this project. For me, it's Cloud AI Academy dot GitLab dot IO. After you create this repository and putting all the content, commit all the changes and push to this repo. According to the GitLab CI file you have, GitLab will smartly build your website for you and deploy to GitLab pages. That's the plan. Let's see. Cloud AI Academy is your username. The address GitLab pages to host your website is dot gitlab.io. Please adjust everything according to what your username is. Please also pay attention. You are supposed to be not in groups, but in your personal zone. Okay, let's continue. Skip this option no. For deployment, you can set it to GitLab pages. Private, of course. This is the source code. This is not the public part, right? So this is our source code of the static website. So we need to make it private. Check this. So it will create the main branch. Okay, this project has been created, but it's kind of empty. Let's get to the address. Switch to our develop development box. Okay, let's see what's in here. In the My Yugo SSG site, it's the website I already debugged. Let's clone the project. CD, don't forget, we need to CD your website. You see the code has been pulled here. Next, let's copy everything. Copy. Don't forget, here you need to add recursively. Let's see. 
put. We still have two more files missing by using the copy hyphen r command. You cannot get it. Let's do it manually. One file is dot gitlab hyphen ci dot yaml. Another file is Let's see what's in these two files. This file will be used by the GitLab CI to do the test. And when GitLab CI see the magic word pages here, they will run the script Yugo to just compile the website and put into public part for main branch only. But this public subfolder uh, created by the Yugo command, we don't want to push that into Git repository. So we have another file, which is uh, we don't want to include the public uh, subfolders content into Git repository. Okay, we have everything here. Git status. Let's say git add star. Okay. These two files have not been added. Git add dot. We have to push these files, these two files into the Git repository. Good. My blog first commit. Currently, all the code is still on your local development box, so you need to push it to your remote. To your original. Okay, let's see what branch are we in. We are in main branch, so we need to use the command to push the code. Cloud AI I will show you the beautiful thing about the uh, GitLab CI. Once the code is pushed, successfully pushed, let's go to GitLab to see what's happening there. Let's go to, you see the code already been here. Let's click CI CD. You see the magic thing? Since we have that uh, .gitlab CI YAML file, it asks uh, GitLab uh, to do the CI CD automatically. So you see, everything done. Beautiful. Let's access our page. If you go to setting pages, you will see the link here. Simply click the link. Let's see. The magic. Bravo. See? Hi, this is Johnny from Cloud AI Academy. Here, how easy it is. Uh, the, the thing I like most is not only it's easy, it's also free. You don't need to spend uh, a penny on this. Okay, this, uh, I think you got it. 
so this video is finished thank you